Cool, so now that we know what the problem wants, we can draw our picture, and this is our given, and we know that kinetic energy is 1 half mv squared, but we don't know what our potential energy is, so we'll just call that u of r. And to find kinetic energy, we're going to have to square this quantity. So let's go ahead and do that now. We can replace v with r dot, since that's what we want our coordinates to be, r and r dot. And we can square it. And we can go ahead and plug that into our Lagrangian, so t minus u, 1 half m, and that's v squared, and then we just minus our, whatever our function for potential energy is. And now we have this kind of weird problem with this omega cross r squared, because we're going to have to take a derivative, and so if we can expand this out and simplify it, that's what we'd like to do. And so floating around on the internet is this formula for two cross products multiplied by each other, and that's just um, the product of their components minus the dot product of their components. And so if we replace what we have, so a and c both are omega and b and d are both r, then we have this quantity, and we know dot products are commutative, so that doesn't matter, we can just combine those all into one. And so we can plug that into our new Lagrangian. I just distributed the 1 half m all the way through from what at the top. You can see that. And there we have it. And so that's part A. And for part B, they will want us to solve for the equations of motion. So we're going to have to take the partial derivative with respect to r of all the parts that have an r in it. And that gives us that. And all the parts that have and our dot in it, which are just... And this right here is a little bit tricky. We can group the cross product however we want. And so right here, you can see it's r dot cross omega times r, and here we can just re regroup that as omega cross r, and then multiply it by the r dot, which makes the derivative easier. And so we have our result for there, and then our time derivative of that, which gives us this. And since we're given that omega is a constant quantity, we don't care about omega dot, this term would go away. So since we're trying to find the equations of motion, we know that this is true, that's the euler lagrange and so we can plug in what we just found previously. So there's our um, Lagrangian just differentiated with respect to r, and there's our ddt of the... Lagrangian with respect to r dot, and we can simplify, and so we can simplify this a little bit by bringing all the components to one side and making the other side equal zero. So when we combine these, this happens, and we know that cross products, when they're flipped, we can flip them back, but we also have to flip the sign, and so that makes, that we can combine those together, and now we have our that's just the general force, any frame-independent forces, and there's our Coriolis force, but this doesn't quite look like the centrifugal force that we're trying to find, and thanks to this handy relation from the internet, that A cross B cross C equals this. So if we look carefully at this relation, we can see that it matches this almost perfectly, except that it will be a negative, because we have a minus omega squared r, and there's our plus omega squared r, and this is our positive omega dot r times omega, and that's negative for us, so we'll just flip the sign to do omega cross r cross omega. So now we can plug that back into what we have. So we can plug that back into what we have, minus mr double dot, minus 2m omega cross r dot, minus m omega cross r cross omega, that equals zero. And, and Taylor's equations um, from chapter 9 for forces in uh, non-inertial frames give us frame-independent forces, and there's the Coriolis, and there's our centrifugal. And looking at this, we almost have it. We'll just reverse. We just have to swap some signs here. And so this one, if we just switch the order of the cross products, that works. And then this one, if we switch the order of the cross products, we get what we want.